Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here, of course, the Diamond K show on FireTelevision.com. Happy Friday to everybody. A lot of things going on, and we have a lot of things to unpack here on the program. Now, in late January, a convoy of truckers in Canada headed cross country from British Columbia to the nation's capital in Ottawa. Now, they were going to protest a mandate. What mandate are we talking about? This mandate requires truckers entering Canada to be vaccinated or else subjected to testing and quarantine requirements. Not something that is uh, too much different from what you may have had to do at your job, right? Uh, So this whole thing has caused a big, big mess with the already fragile supply chain. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about five takeaways on the Canadian trucker protest. And we're going to do that after this. Nurture by Natasha is a wellness and holistic company specializing in natural products and services. They are based right in Baltimore, but ship throughout the country. Nurture by Natasha is running a membership special called the Bestie, you know, like a best friend. Anyway, if you become a Bestie, membership includes all kinds of monthly promotions you get different items every month. There's no need to go anywhere because your products will get shipped directly to your home from the good folks over at Nurture by Natasha. Keep your skin glowing. Maintain that healthy, youthful appearance. Your skin will thank you. Become a bestie today. Head on over to NurtureByNatasha.com. So welcome back to the John McKay Show, of course, on FireTelevision.com. And we are talking about some takeaways from this Canadian trucker protest. Now, two weeks of protest in Canada's capital over the, you know, cross the border vaccine mandate requiring truckers to get vaccinated upon crossing has produced Dozens of investigations and numerous arrests, of course, people acting wild and crazy, leading to a state of emergency declaration. Why are we here? Now, efforts to stage similar protests in America are emerging. They're talking about the Super Bowl. They're talking about Coachella. They're talking about the State of the Union. Department of Homeland Security has issued a memo warning police partners of demonstrations in the United States. This is Super Bowl weekend. So they're talking about uh, the truckers coming down and causing confusion at the Super Bowl. Demonstrations and protests reflect the pandemic fatigue that we've been talking about. It seems like for two years we've been talking about fatigue. But this fatigue has uh, just stretched around the world but has also stirred a lot of controversy in its wake. So Ottawa is under siege. The protest in this capital city led the mayor, Jim Watson, to declare a state of emergency on Sunday. And he says that it is serious danger and threat to the safety and security of the residents. Protesters have just... I mean, they're doing too much. They've interfered with traffic, with sleep. Uh, the truckers are using their horns and making a whole lot of noise. This is their way of getting back at the government. The mayor said this, we are in the midst of a serious emergency, the most serious emergency our city has ever faced, and we need to cut the red tape to get these supplies available to our police officers and to our public works staff. 
Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau issued a strong rebuke. The rebuke of these demonstrations earlier this week, he told the parliament that the demonstrators were attempting to blockade Canada's democracy, their economy, their daily lives. This has gotten out of control. The Canadian prime minister said this blockages, illegal demonstrations are unacceptable and are negatively impacting businesses and manufacturers. Trudeau added that the nation must do everything to bring them to an end. Reports suggest that around 400 trucks remain in central Ottawa. This is causing all kinds of confusion. Now, why are they doing this? Just as so many uh, mask mandates are softening up, relaxing, be, being ended, uh, the protests really reflect this pandemic fatigue in Canada and beyond. The protests started as a response to the vaccine mandates. Now, the truckers, of course, entering Canada, they needed to be something. I mean, we're trying to curb, we're trying to stop the spread, right? Now, similar protests have sprouted up across the globe. People around the country are frustrated with the restrictions, and they are doing these copycat rallies. So, since the beginning of these Ottawa protests, demonstrations have appeared in Australia, New Zealand, France. New York, and other locations. We're nearly two years into this pandemic. Many Americans no longer have uh, restrictions on their lives, many Americans, right? Uh, but this is still gaining steam, still gaining steam. Indoor mask mandates are in effect in a number of cities, right? The vaccine requirements in a lot of cities and private businesses are still intact, but those rules have led to frustrations for those who oppose the mandates. Now, this is a minority of the country uh, because most folks are actually vaccinated in America. So, speaking of America, there's talks of similar U.S. events. Now, the right, the conservatives in America are loving this. They are the ones who are really, really embracing this. So their efforts to stage protests in America have emerged online, quickly gaining support. The Department of Homeland Security has warned that the truckers could disrupt Super Bowl, Biden's State of the Union, among other events. So uh, they need to prepare for this. It also notes that a planned convoy is expected to stretch from California to Washington, D.C., while adding that protesting truckers from Canada might join as well. They have social media groups, all kind of foolishness. Uh, they're planning a March for Freedom convoy to D.C. 2022. Group organizers posted they, that they expect truckers will arrive in Coachella Valley in California on March the 4th to defeat the unconstitutional mandates. <laughs> I mean, these are adults acting like children. About 100 truckers in Alaska assembled late last week to signal support for the Ottawa demonstrations. Uh, one driver told the Anchorage Daily News that it is his belief that the COVID-19 vaccine should be a choice instead of a requirement. So you have a lot of people that have this view, a lot of people that feel that the government is pushing something upon them, all right, pushing something upon them. Uh, but we're going to do this. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to talk more about these uh, truckers and their grievances after this.
The Diamond Case Show is sponsored in part by Tasty Moscato. If you could pour sexy into a glass, this would be it. This smooth, seductive Moscato wine blended with vanilla takes your palate to a whole nother level of Taste Me. Unlike most, Tasty Moscato can be deliciously paired with a variety of meats, cheeses, veggies, as well as desserts. It is the sweet taste of luxury that you've been craving. It is Tasty Moscato. You can visit them on all social media at Tasty Moscato. Here on the program, we deliver the biggest political and trending news stories of the day with interviews and original reporting from Baltimore, Atlanta, Dallas, and beyond. The show is fun. The show is upbeat. But I also want to expose what is really happening in this country. I give you politics from an independent perspective. If the Republicans are wrong, I'm going to call it out. If the Democrats are wrong, I'm going to call that out to join me weekdays, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. for the Diamond K Show here at onfiretelevision.com. So conservatives are backing this movement, U.S. conservatives, that is. The Ottawa protests have drawn widespread support from the American right. Prominent conservatives like Donald Trump, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Mike Huckabee, among others, have all signaled support. You know, something's wrong if they are supporting this. <laughs> they're supporting this. Uh, Huckabee says this is the left's worst nightmare coming true. Right? There have also been reports that some of the demonstrators in Ottawa have been seen carrying Nazi swastika flags. Confederate flags, Trump flags. These are all things that you don't often see in Canada. So uh, conservatives in America trying to hijack this uh, protest. Now, it is unclear how this thing is going to end. How do we stop this? Foolishness is what I'm calling it. Now, as officials seek to contain these demonstrations... Lawmakers elsewhere are trying to deal with the economic impact that these demonstrations in Canada have, you know, had on the constituents. And, you know, I understand the pandemic uh, fatigue. I do. Right. But this is not how you handle it. This is not how you handle it. Protesters uh, demonstrating over the vaccine mandate. They've been blocking the bridges. There is this thing called the Ambassador Bridge between Detroit and Windsor, Canada. This We already had supply chain uh, problems going on, and now they have increased the supply chain disruptions at one of the busiest land border crossings between the United States and Canada. This is what you're doing? So the Biden administration says that they are monitoring this very closely. Jen Psaki noted that it poses serious risks to the supply chain for the auto industry. Now, is, is this something that the conservatives, y'all support this? Lawmakers in the United States are showing signs of lifting the state's respective uh, mask mandates. At least eight governors are lifting mask requirements in the upcoming weeks. I mean, you know, this thing is really ending. There's no need for this right now. The, the frustration with having to wear a mask in public has set off uh, adult temper tantrums, right? <laughs> These adults are really mad and, and they're directing their frustration at retail employees and, and flight attendants and just folks that work in businesses because they're, they're so mad. They, they want their freedom, right? It is absurd. The protests over COVID-19 restrictions is now disrupting people's lives. Now, they claimed that the mass and the mandates and the restrictions, that that was disrupting people's lives. But these protests are actually doing what you claim that you were trying to stop from happening. 
<laughs> make this make sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Diamond K Show, of course, on FireTelevision.com. And, you know, I just, I don't understand what is going on in the minds of people that feel that this is the way to handle your fatigue, your frustration, whatever. Okay, the Diamond Case Show, of course, is an on-fire television production. You can get the program on demand at the WRF Radio app, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, of course, YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. I am here. And um, On Fire Television is an advertiser-supported audio and video network. Get breaking news, podcasts, TV shows covering topics that are important to our culture. Streaming at onfiretelevision.com. You want to support the Diamond K Show and this digital network? Head on over to our website, onfiretelevision.com. Grab a t-shirt, some other merch. You can become a sponsor of the Diamond K Show for as little as $50. I'm able to deliver our news and our views on this program because of our listeners and, of course, our sponsors. Speaking of sponsors, the Diamond K Show brought to you in part by jstoverbeauty.com. I want to talk directly to my ladies out there. If you are looking for those must-have beauty products, look no further. jstoverbeauty.com has quality wigs, Indian hair extension, virgin hair extensions, professional hair care products, edge control, flat iron mist, mink eyelashes, satin wig bags, wax sticks, lace concealer, lace tint, and so much more. JStoverBeauty.com also does custom wig making, wig maintenance, revamp services. You can check them out on social media at JStoverBeauty on Instagram, JStoverBeauty LLC on Facebook. Be a girl with mind, a woman with attitude, and a lady with class. Visit JStoverBeauty.com. Now, you man, Dominic, I am here daily, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Join me as I unpack breaking news and issues affecting America. It's the Diamond K Show streaming at onfiretelevision.com or wherever you get your podcasts.